mentioning school, you, you said you went to Jones Memorial. Yes, that's the original Jones Memorial, the old one, yes. That's where I was. Uh, uh, we went out on the bus and then uh, sometimes in, in, uh, get the, the bus coming back as well. And um, What would your earliest memories of school be? Well, um, I suppose there was a teacher there and we didn't get on very well. She would have been from, what to say, the Edwardian area, very strict and uh, Miss Semple. Uh, people may uh, know of the name, I'm sure, of my age group. She, she, she was difficult, um, very disciplinary, and of course there was corporate punishment then and, and things like that. So I, I, I used to get, um, uh, not detrimental, but I used to get nervous going to school in the morning and would be nearly ill sometimes. And then um, I got changed then to, to a, a, a young lady teacher, Miss, Miss Crawford, her name was, and I got on much better with her. I was changed over. Um, that lady was just, that's the way she was brought up and she was very, very strict and, and, and there wasn't much humour. <laughs> no, it was, it was, she was like a matron and that was it. You, you had to, you had to uh, uh, obey immediately or otherwise there's consequences. <laughs> yeah, so that was uh, the, 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 the old school forms would have been there with the wee inkwell. Now there wasn't a quill pen but there was a dip pen. And you had, you know, and you to fill it up, and then somebody come around and spill it or something, and then there'd be a blot on, and then bang, <laughs> you get a wrap around knuckles then. Change time. Oh, that's right. Very much so. Um, you know, and uh, then there was, um, they were very, very big, uh, 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 high ceilings uh, in, in the old Jones Moyer School. And then, of course, there was quite a lot of wooded area at the back. So during the, the break time, we used to uh, uh, go out there and, and, and there was sort of wee trails and you used to run about and play tig and different stuff like that uh, and so forth. And uh, uh, as I say, generally good memories. And then I um, then left there, then I went to the model school, the original building, uh, uh, which is no longer there. Um, but um, um, I think about... Um, yeah, it would have been uh, sometime just in the uh, early 60s, I think it would have been. Yeah, and then I went to the high school, I think, in 1963. Uh, uh, you know, so I um, wasn't uh, a great scholar by any means. No. Um, well, did you have a favourite subject at school? Yes, yes. Well, uh, in the early days, I suppose, I hadn't really. Uh, I would have been quite shy, but as time went on... Um, when I went to the model school, um, there was Robert Kerr, uh, he was in his class, and um, Robert had uh, travelled a bit, and um, my dad would always been interested in, in geography, and a bit of history as well, so I took after dad for, for the geography, and, uh, and um, I, um, when we used to do uh, a little bits of geography, and I had, used to pull the old map down, and Look at it, so I had a good idea, so I <laughs> so, and he would say with this country and whatever. And, and so now we go over now to Gordon, our geographical expert. He'll know about this. He'll tell us, Gordon, what do you know? What country that and what river is that? And then what mountain range? Yes, correct. He says, now he said, just you listen to Gordon. And he, <laughs> so then when it came, of course, then to, to, to mathematics and other things, I, I was well down the, the pecking order. <laughs> No, 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 no. Geography would be my favourite, and the history probably uh, would have been maybe next a bit again, you know. And uh, so I, I, I enjoyed that. Then I got as, as I got older. Then after school, I did travel, have travel quite a bit. So after the model, you were at the high school or yes, the intermediate school. The intermediate school would have been called at that time, yes. And then it, I think it changed to the high school before I probably left for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Remember, just when the education system goes to change the names of these places, and then, of course, uh, 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 then you know, change the, the, the names of places as they have done uh, 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 with the with the Torah and things like that. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, as I say, I was there for for, for uh, six years at, at the, the high school, and um, again, uh, uh, would have been my favourite teacher would have been. Um, Jack Taylor. Jack was the, the, the geography teacher 
and then his wife taught there as well, Daphne. Um, so uh, after I left school, I was to, uh, uh, Jack would have been a, a, a golfer, and I, and I took up golf as well. When I when I was at the high school, I started playing golf and uh, at Black Lion Golf Club, which is about ten miles from my house, and I was the only golfer in the school. No other teachers even played. Mm -hmm. No, so it was a it was a, a middle class game. It was your your professional people played golf, and uh, when the Black Lion Club started, it it, it was more uh, as I say across the. The, the class divide, so to speak, and, and that's why we wanted to play there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, geography was your favourite subject at school. Yeah. Um, you had told me before about the young farmers. Oh college. yes, yes, that's right. Uh, in the high school, there was uh, Jim Kerr. Uh, he was from a farming background, uh, uh, out just beside uh, Jones Memorial School. It was their, 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 their home farm, and uh, he was the what you call the rural science teacher so that subject was done and uh, that was basically about the environment uh, about farming and, and, and uh, basically because uh, uh, you know farming in this area would have been uh, sort of uh, the backbone of the county uh, uh, as time went on then there was Taylor Woods uh, factory and different things like that and so forth but uh, the majority of, of the revenue was from the farming background so um, there was a junior wing uh, he, he was a member, I think, at Ben Elect Club, and then there was a junior wing, and he formed that in, 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 the, uh, in the high school. And um, uh, I wasn't from a farming background, but uh, I used to go up to my uh, um, uh, relations on my dad's side, up to South Armagh, along the, the Fane River. There's, still, there's a company still that they founded, uh, old Douglas Hughes uh, uh, Fane Valley, and, and I think... Uh, George's son would still be a, a shareholder in that. So uh, I learned a wee bit about farming there, uh, not going to learn anything about farming. Uh, but then when 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 I uh, joined the wee club, you see, then we'd go for for days to farms in Fermanagh and look at the cattle and, and the stock and stuff. And then there was competitions, and then you had four four maybe uh, 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 cattle in a pen A, B, X, and Y, and you had to put them in order of preference. But you could be lucky and get it right occasionally. But then you had a, a, a freezing cow uh, on her own then. And uh, there was the farmer was there. And uh, you had to point out the different parts uh, of the cow and say, give her marks and stuff like that. So then you had to know a wee bit about what you were talking. But then I, I used to be wound up uh, by some of the, 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 the farming uh, sons. And of course there was girls as well in it. And because I, I was from Italian, Italian, you see. But um, I, did, I did enter a competition. And, and I did quite well individually in that. And, and, and I went on sort of to, to, to finals in Northern Ireland, which I, I didn't do well there, but I, I, I got up some respect then. <laughs> it's the mix of yeah, yes. rural and urban. That's right, yes, that's right, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, I still, uh, as I say, uh, loved it out in the countryside and, and, and you know, here in Fermanagh, because it is the, probably um, in the six counties, it's the most. Uh, maybe rural still, uh, I don't know what, when I was at school now, I think uh, at the high school, the population, I suppose, within a mile at the time would have been about 12,000. So now, what is it uh, within a radius or two miles radius of town, you're probably, it's doubled now, I would have thought. I don't really know for sure. But um, um, yeah, yeah. So uh, I enjoyed that, and then we used to get a day to the Balmoral show as well, and go around that. And, and uh, I remember there was, I think it was Princess Margaret one time when we were going. Uh, she she had a bit of visitation then. That's right. She she had, she had married a guy uh, uh, Anthony Armstrong Jones. That's right. Yeah, she was there, and uh, it used to be there. And even then, there was the. Uh, BBC television would have been there, uh, and people there would have been on. So it, it, it was a great day out. And, uh, so then, generally, then we also had, in the Young Farmers Club, we would have had um, a debating competition and public speaking as well. That was another thing. Um, I was, it was that we had one, which I, I wasn't too bad at. Uh, it was called an impromptu 
before it would be whatever and um just you got about 15 minutes and you got a, a subject and that was just thrown at you sort of thing and you had to make it up off the cuff if I, if I was lucky the odd time i got something i had an idea about but <laughs> some other things then well you uh, uh had to waffle a little bit and you might not have made a lot of sense but sometimes i i did one i think it was something something did an environmental thing or the future of um the future of agriculture in in, in, in northern ireland or something i i sort of I, I got good marks for that or something but because a few other things maybe uh you know i can't remember some of the subjects uh, uh, there was nothing political or anything like that but it was something about uh, one thing about local government and, and the farming community and how they were you know mm -hmm. so i didn't really say much sense in that one i don't think <laughs> <laughs>